so there's a bit of mapping being done. Not a Burns Own Partnership, £25,000 job that we did in North Yorkshire that was then repeated at another 15k three yeah. years later. Or in Kirklees, they did it over five years to get their um, figures in for government to get grants again, that sort of thing. Uh, there are other ways of doing it. It's that simple knowledge of counting who's out there. And uh, they, they're on a database, like you know, you, you're, you're great to look up for skills thing. Skills be online is getting people to sign up, saying who's on there as a business. And that may be local, and then can be aggregated over an area. It's one of those complicated, but it, it's one of those things that it's it, actually you know, say it's one of those complicated. It's incredibly not complicated to set up a survey monthly um, survey, ask the right questions, and get the right kinds of information. That costs nothing to do. You don't need thousands of pounds to get, but it's, it's just how you guys can help get the message out there to those people. So if we do put it up on the link to our artist forum, we do send it to you, Nikki, that, you know, mm. that we're asking the right questions and we're able to elicit the right kind of information. And I think selling, because what is, it's, you can set up a survey monkey, but actually what you want is people to respond. Yes. And uh, that's the, the challenge. And I think if, if the offer is, you know, we're here for this, this amount of time, we can help you and your business if you can just tell us who you are and what you're doing. Yeah. And that's that's the gift. So it's there. Yeah. yeah. Mm, you should Brilliant. get a response. Very good feedback. Okay. Just, just one final point, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. Uh, at the Boston meeting for the digital businesses, one well, a comment was made there. Back to this North Yorkshire survey, there are more creative businesses in North Yorkshire than there are farmers. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that about Lincolnshire? Are there more farmers or more creative businesses? I dare bet there's probably there's more farmers. Whole underbelly of <laughs> creative businesses. Yeah. They are here. It's more just, farming acres. Yes. More farming acres, less farming. Yeah, not farming. 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 Afternoons and the rugby's probably started already. Yeah. So, uh, That's the text on it. Have you really had yeah. <laughs> So uh, I said try, try, try. <laughs> I think this is why I was so pleased to escape Cardiff yesterday. Um, so, does anybody have any final questions before we sort of break up? Oh, What's good... your deadline financially? When have you got to spend the money? How long have we got to think about it? I think the deployment phase of the technology is, as I say, sort of around May, June time, I think. So it's around then that we're going to be looking. But we will have had to have decided and gone through sort of various procurement bureaucracy processes type thing. So we probably need to know need sort of around May time pretty much what we're going to be going for. So we've not got a huge amount of time, but you know it doesn't take long I don't think to get people's feedback and get people's ideas on stuff. So we're hoping we can push that through quite quickly really. Yeah, I was just going to say actually we're, we're probably just rolling into a new financial year. So we've probably got a year in fact to spend the money, although we want to have our plans in place fairly early and try and get some of those investments in early as well. Um, so, so you know, we, we're quite flexible in terms of uh, spending money, but we want to get the, the ideas together quite quickly. From my point of view, I think one of the opportunities that the university would be interested in, certainly our faculty, is the heritage sector. Um, with the fact that we've, we've got a very strong conservation discipline in Lincoln, there's the cathedral, there's the historic city, there's the heritage training centre, and if one of the hubs has got a heritage thing, we probably need to work with you to try and join those dots up. Well, um, definitely, we'd like to work with you as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be a great sort of, uh, collaboration to be able to explore. I think that'd be absolutely fantastic. Right, brilliant. Well, I guess the only thing I could say to everybody here is thank you so much for giving up your, your Saturdays to come along and, uh, and take part. It's been great to have you all along. Thanks for being such good sports and uh, being scanned and filmed. And we got... say thank you back to you for being so committed to this and making such a good job. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, the other thing, of course, I'd say an even bigger thank you, I think, to uh, to John and Malcolm from CDI for coming across <laughs> from some horrible part of Yorkshire or wherever it is that you actually come from. That's natural. And uh, of course, the chaps uh, came all the way from Cheshire with their wonderful scanning equipment. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. um, and then a final, she's not here, but I will thank her anyway in her absence, is to Mrs. Briggs, who uh, quite frankly is, uh, did an awesome job, not only in uh, teaching herself how to use that knitting machine, uh, but also in uh, checking everybody in. So big thanks to Catherine. Yeah. For doing that. Yeah.
the caterers for one. Yes. yes. But we won't clap them because they got paid. So they're. Uh...